So if you were thankful that Donald Trump killed two prominent political dynasties, well, don't thank him too much because he has basically started a new, perhaps even worse political dynasty. And we can expect all of his kids at some point to get involved in politics directly. And the first one that we're all looking at is Ivanka Trump, because there are reports that she may be mulling a run for the United States Senate in Florida. And she's going to primary challenge another prominent Republican. So as The Guardian reports, speculation about the post-White House career of Ivanka Trump is now centered on Florida, where the soon-to-be ex-first daughter and senior aide to her president father has reportedly bought an expensive plot of land for a house and may be considering a run for Senate. Ivanka Trump is frequently mentioned as desiring a political career of her own, and during her time working for Donald Trump, has sought to position herself as a more media-friendly version of her father. Now, U.S. media reports are focusing on Florida, where Donald Trump owns the Mar-a-Lago Resort as a potential base for his daughter to launch a political career of her own. Ivanka definitely has political ambitions, no question about it, a source told CNN. She wants to run for something, but that still needs to be figured out. Florida might offer one potential avenue in a Senate race in 2022, when current Republican incumbent Marco Rubio's seat is up for re-election. Rubio was a harsh critic of Donald Trump in the 2016 Republican nomination race but later morphed into a loyal supporter of Trump once he had won the election. I think she'd be the immediate frontrunner if she ran for U.S. Senate against Rubio given her father's popularity in the Sunshine State. Adam C. Smith, former Tampa Bay Times political editor and now consultant with Mercury Public Affairs, told CNN. So this is fascinating to me. Um, first of all, let me say uh, what is obvious. I hate political dynasties and the thought of Ivanka Trump running for anything is nauseating. Having said that, though, I do like that the Republicans who reluctantly endorsed Donald Trump rather than fighting him, now, now that's biting them in the ass. Like Marco Rubio, by supporting Donald Trump, now you've given him credibility, and now his own children may run against you. Congratulations, dummy. But I will say that even though I don't want Ivanka Trump to run for anything and I'd rather her go away, I do like that she's challenging Marco Rubio. Because what are you going to say to Donald Trump's daughter? Like, it's going to be a contest about who is most loyal to Donald Trump. Who will they believe is more loyal? Marco Rubio, who previously stated that he hated Donald Trump and is biting his tongue now that he's president, or Ivanka Trump, who is his daughter? And this would be funny to watch because Marco Rubio, no question, like he would embarrass himself. Look, I, I like your dad. I supported your father. But she's going to bring up all the stuff from the 2016 and 2015 Republican Party primaries. It's going to be hilarious to watch. And let me just say this. I want to see them fight. I want to see MAGA chuds and the more establishment Republicans rip each other to shreds. Now, this may be a pipe dream because what is my expectation, and this may be wrong, is that, you know, much like with the Tea Party, the Republican Party, like, the rift wasn't there for that long. They kind of absorbed the Tea Party. And I think this may be true with MAGA chuds. Like, they are an emerging faction within the Republican Party. But I think that overall, when you compare, like, the Democratic Party establishment and the Republican establishment, Republicans are much more savvy at kind of mending those rifts, right? They make some concessions, give some power positions to this emerging faction. And ultimately, the party as a whole shifts to the right. But with the Democratic Party, they kind of try to float against the current or swim against the current, I should say. And rather than embracing these emergent factions like leftists, they fight them. So it would be interesting to see what happens. But in this instance, if we see a, you know, a primary fight between Marco Rubio and Ivanka Trump, and if it came down to them, oddly enough, I'd be rooting for Marco Rubio to win because I fucking hate political dynasties. And to see a Trump kid in the Senate, it's just, I hate it. Like, <laughs> I hate it. So uh, either way, I do want them to fight each other. And I say we let them fight. And I hope that this does long-term damage to the Republican Party. But um, it probably won't. So, you know, either way, at least we could be entertained if we have no horse in this race. And watch Marco Rubio hopefully embarrass himself. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report but trust me i'd have way more supporters on patreon if that was my podcast
shed.